Guys, it's that time of the week again. Welcome back to the Planet Football YouTube channel. We are back with another one of our classic footballing reactions. And today, we're going to be giving off one of your suggestions. Someone left this in the comments down below on one of the previous videos. But today, we are going to be reacting to Andrei Shevchenko. Now, don't know all too much about him. Know that he made the move to Chelsea, and I don't think that went all too well. But in his pomp... I'm very much excited to see what this compilation um, shows in terms of the sort of goals that he was scoring. You know, we've reacted to quite a few strikers um, in this series so far, but Shevchenko has been quite a highly requested one. So very much to see what he was like in his prime. As always, if you do go into enjoy, make sure to leave a like and continue getting your suggestions in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's jump into the compilation. So without any further ado, let's jump into this one. Oh wow, so he won the Ballon d'Or, yeah, I didn't know that. Straight off the bat, that's great. So we are going for a compilation today. Obviously, we do like to sort of switch it up between watching compilations sometimes and other times watching sort of documentary ones. But I think for strikers especially, to watch like a compilation, you properly gauge sort of how good they actually were and the sort of type of goals that they were scoring. And that's what I'm most interested in. Oh, my God. Okay, so he could hit them from outside the box. That's what I know from the off. If you didn't watch the Van Basten one last time, make sure to go ahead and check that one out because that was a really interesting one to look into. But Shevchenko, another one that was playing his football in Italy in an era where you know the Serie A was really strong, it seems. And already this catalogue of goals is up there. <sighs> yeah, the way he goes, like near post and high up, Sort of trying to hit it into the roof reminds me a lot of like Sergio Aguero or someone like that. That's his sort of trademark type of finish. I'm recognizing a few sort of similarities already with Shevchenko here, which is interesting. Aerially as well, really strong. In off both feet as well, which is really impressive there, yeah. The dribbling, he can send you one way, then takes it on his left foot. Really impressive. So around 90-99 here, interesting. Oh, lovely. Great footwork. Nice. Yeah, another finish in off the left foot. That's impressive. I think the two thousand, like early two thousands in general, just by like the reactions that we've done to like strikers on the channel so far, seem to be a really good sort of era um, for these types of strikers. Oh, he's got a free kick in his locker as well. He's already gone up in my estimations. Anyone that's got a free kick like that in the locker, that's right in the top bins as well. Really impressive. Champions League. So we have big moments in the Champions League as well. It's interesting. Of course, yeah, I didn't even consider this will have been a time when AC Milan were absolutely fantastic as well and all the other players that I didn't even consider that they had at the time, but yeah, I'm sure Shevchenko had a lot of fun in this team. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Another finish with the left foot, really impressive. Left foot, right foot, he's he's got them both down to a T, hasn't he? Nice in the air as well, seems to be strong. He doesn't look like the tallest of players. Certainly doesn't look as like as big as Van Basten who he did last time. Great movement as well. I think that's something that you pick up from watching a lot of these clips as well. The movement in and around the box is that sort of defining factor which really separates like a good striker from like a proper like elite striker. Now uh, Robbie Fowler was another reaction that we did on the channel who seemed to have like a similar sort of brilliant movement in and around the box. Oh, 
I was chasing him there, but what a finish! Oh. Yeah, he looked like an absolute machine. After this video, I'll need to have a bit of a deeper dive into like his numbers and stuff like that and what he was actually putting up. Because the quality of goals, like it's not dipping at all, is it? Look at that. <laughs> okay, so it was 2004 Ballon d'Or, very interesting. Yeah, plays off the defender's shoulders and his movement's so intelligent in those sort of situations. Oh! Ha -ha. And then, yeah, even from those deeper positions, he can still be such a nuisance because of how good he actually is on the ball. And that's something that a lot of strikers just don't have that. Really seems very good as well. Very impressive just how many you got from like outside the box and things like that. I think my thought process when I think of like classic strikers from like the 2000s and things like that my instinct is just always like oh they're just gonna be like a goal poacher or something like that but yeah Shevchenko's got quite a bit to his game hasn't he but still will pop up in those sort of situations at the far post really impressive so good in the air And then that, just that pace to get in behind, if you're playing a high line against him. Seems like he could do that all day, he'll just you know, turn the defender, spin him on the shoulder, and he's in like that. And you know the finish is just going to be clear, so clean time after time. Yeah, and those little poking finishes as well like that, I've realised he's quite good at them as well. Starts to move, finishes it there as well. I think he liked to come in from that left hand side a lot as well. I'm noticing a lot of the clips he sort of just ghosts in from that left hand side. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love that celebration. I can only imagine what the sort of Pirlo and Shevchenko link up was like properly like back in the day. I imagine that was quite something. Because what a team this Milan team was, by the way. Yeah, Ancelotti in there as well. 
This being his last goal. AC Milan. Oh, pff. that's some way to go out, to be fair. Outside the box, in off the left foot. Wow. I really enjoyed that reaction here today to Shevchenko. Uh, didn't really know what to expect coming into this one, but the catalogue of goals there, I mean, you can't be disappointed at that, can you? So there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's reaction. Before we finish, I just had a quick look at his actual like goal record throughout his career. Obviously, started out um, at Dynamo Kiev. We didn't react to that one today. We were reacting to uh, the best of his sort of AC Milan days where his goal record was absolutely superb. 173 goals and 296 appearances. Uh, made the move to Chelsea after that where I mean his goals weren't the best in the Premier League but overall didn't have like a total disaster in terms of goals returned 22 and 77 and then had a loan spell back to Milan and um, when we scored that mo when he scored that most recent goal and then back to Dynamo Kiev so yeah very much enjoyed this reaction here today I feel like I'm much more um, enlightened on the sort of player that Shevchenko was so as always if you did go into enjoy make sure to leave a like and do get all your other suggestions in the comments down below for any other players that you'd like to see me reacting to in the following weeks but apart from that thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you all in the next one